Between now and March 2026, India's space agency plans to launch seven missions. Yes, you heard that right. Seven. And that's just the start. So here's what's happening. ISRO just dropped its biggest space roadmap yet. Between now and March 2026, India's space agency plans to launch seven missions. Yes, you heard that right. Seven. And that's just the start. They've actually set their sights on 50 rocket launches in the next five years. ISRO chairman V. Narayanan made it very official right after India's latest communication satellite lifted off successfully this week. So yes, India isn't slowing down. It's about to take flight. Let's actually, both of us, launch into what's coming. This announcement came right after the successful CMS-03, which is the GSAT, Dash 7R communication satellite launch, a mission designed to strengthen India's naval communication systems. In the next 15 months, ISRO will roll out a mix of missions, from commercial satellite launches to technology demonstrations and the first uncrewed Gaganyaan test flight, which sets the stage for India's human space flight era. The lineup includes the LM, LVM, sorry, LVM-3, GSLV F-17 and multiple PSLV missions, each one advancing a different part of India's space capability. Multiple PSLV flights including technology demonstration missions. But the question is, why now? Well, because ISRO is finally moving from prove we can to show we will. The Chandrana, Ch Chandrayaan and Aditya missions gave them global spotlight. Now. It's about building momentum, cadence, and credibility. Seven missions in 15 months means faster turnarounds, more data, and more tech validation. It's actually all ISRO's way of telling the world, we're done celebrating, now we're scaling. Also, more rockets don't just mean more launches. They mean more impact, and this is how. Each mission adds muscle to India's space economy which is actually expected to cross $40 billion by the end of the decade. It's actually great news for startups under in space, for private launchers like Skyroot and Agnikool, and of course, for suppliers across the tech chain. And then there is a strategic edge, better satellite coverage for communication, weather and navigation. More launches mean better forecasting, stronger defense systems and better connectivity for remote corners of the country. Simply put, this isn't about actually reaching space, it's actually about using space to power everything on Earth. Every space-faring nation is racing to establish industrial cadence. SpaceX launches almost weekly. China clocks dozens a year. And now, India is saying, alright, our turn. ISRO's model, low-cost, high reliability, is still unmatched, mind you. With this space, India can actually position itself as the go-to country for medium and small satellite launches, especially for the global south. And make no mistake, this has geopolitical weight. From navigation networks to real-time surveillance, whoever controls skies controls information. And India is quietly making sure it has both the satellites and the systems to back them. Think of it this way. 2014 was the selfie with Mars. 2024 was the landing on the moon and now 2026 is the year we start sending humans. More satellites mean better GPS, faster broadband, sharper weather alerts and stronger disaster prediction. Farmers, students, logistical players, telecom companies, everyone benefits from what ISRO is cooking. And the timing, well, is perfect. Because as the world fights over compute power and data sovereignty, India is quietly building space sovereignty. So here's the bottom line. ISRO not aiming for the stars anymore. It's actually building the highway to reach them. Seven missions, 15 months, 50 launches in five years. It's not hype, it's a declaration. And when Gaganyaan finally carries humans into orbit, it won't just be India's giant leap. It'll be the moment we prove our journey to the stars has just begun. Again, request you to please drop in your thoughts below. Which mission are you most excited for? And what do you think India's next giant leap should be?